So hello there everybody and well welcome back on in to the Overlord X channel for a new video. So then, where to begin? The last few days have been nothing short of crazy within the Ninjago community. We have had a lot of different minifigure leaks come out, one of which however really caught my attention for an extremely specific reason which I would like to take a look at and discuss with all of you right here today. So then, this figure, I guess, let's just get straight into things. It is a wolf of sorts, as we can see, and it is supposedly going to be a foot soldier for the next Ninjago villain army. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, do not take that as a complete concrete fact, as it is ultimately just a little bit of an assumption on my end, just judging from how the set descriptions described some of the figures. The descriptions match pretty much perfectly with these wolf guys, but I mean, I guess... You know, I'm not completely 100% on that. Something could change. But ultimately, it's a very well-educated guess. So I just wanted to throw that in there for you guys there. But upon a closer inspection of these guys and with a few additional images for this one minifigure, it does actually become very clear that the wolf head on these guys is well, nothing but a literal mask, and they happen to have a face and an actual human body quite evident underneath everything. Now then, this leads me swiftly on to what I would like to move into here next with the video, as, well, just bear with me because this is going to sound crazy, but again, if you guys remember, there was a lot of uh, questionable speculation on the possibility of Raz also wearing a mask. Now, of course, that is an absolutely insane idea, and while I have made a video on that particular theory some months ago, it was never something I saw as a complete, I guess, genuine possibility. And when I did make that video, of course, with it being a few months ago, that was when we just had part one out there, and I suppose there was a tiny bit more of a chance that Raz was actually wearing a mask, but with part two especially, we know he's from the wilderness, supposedly, and uh, in basically every other scene, he makes actual, like, gr real growling noises, so unless we go into, like, complete craziness mode, and, like, we assume that he's just making up these random sounds to role play as a tiger or something, then that's pretty much out of the question at this point, but... Again, I just wanted to, uh, like, throw it out there, I guess, all along, as some sort of a very, very vague, very slight possibility. But, you see, naturally, along with the foot soldier minifigure being confirmed to have an actual human head underneath, it does bring up the whole question and theory back up. Is Lord Raz wearing a mask? Yeah, as silly as it sounds, yes. I truly do have to re-answer this question because I have seen it in the Ninjago community again, along with myself bringing it up again over on Twitter as a little bit of a joke. And in my opinion here, no, I absolutely don't think so. In fact, I can say that with borderline absolute certainty. I guess there is a chance that maybe if the writers are feeling extra daring one day, then this will all come true. But if we are being completely dead serious with all of this, this is nothing but a hugely unlikely option and most likely will absolutely not be coming true whatsoever. Just have to say that here. So, in conclusion here, while the new foot soldiers are just regular humans, or unless there's like a mix of real wolves and people dressed up as wolves, think of the uh, actual ice soldiers that were under the ice emperor's control, some were pure ice, some were just real humans, unless we've got a situation like that, of course, we don't know, so just to simplify things once again, you know, all of these foot soldiers, although they are just humans, or at least, again, so far they are, as far as we can tell, the same does not have to be said for Lord Raz. Completely different situations, as we can see so far, quite evidently. So again, just wanted to make this today's video to clear this up once again, and also just to kind of touch on that really ridiculous theory of maybe Lord Raz wearing a mask. Again, crazy, crazy stuff, and I hope to not ever have to bring this up in a video ever again. So with all of this being said and done, guys, I do absolutely turn it over to all of you. Please, please, please feel free to leave any of your own personal thoughts on all of this down below in that comment section. I would love to hear your own thoughts regarding all of this. As always, though, if you did end up enjoying today's video here, please do go ahead and leave a like on it. Subscribe to the Overlord X YouTube channel for more. And while you guys are down there, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you can keep up to date on all things Ninjago right here on the channel. And, well, with all of this being said and done, though, guys, I will catch you all very soon for a new video. So see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody.